everyone welcome back it's been a while since i've posted a video uh, winter's finally over here in alaska and so we're gonna get out and do some fishing today got the uh, float tube behind me as you can see the fly rod and we are up here at summit lake this is where andrew and i fished uh, last year posted a video uh, may or early june of last year of us fishing here for trout and dollies and uh, i'm up here by myself today and i'm gonna see if i can get some more some of these waves are bigger than they look. Catching some rollers over the bow of this thing. You guys ever watch the uh, puffins kind of just roll up and down the waves out there in the ocean? Kind of feel like a puffin right now. These waves are just doing whatever they want. There's a fish. There we go. There we go. He's a jumper, guys. There we go. Nice rainbow. Oh, he's still got some fight in him. Come here, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. This thing's got some fight. Beautiful color on it. Come here, little guy. There you go. Come on. You kidding me? Come here. Oh good, it got off. Perfect. All right, I'm happy with that. Didn't get skunked. I am happy with that. There we go, there's a little one. What do we got? dolly these guys are kind of like trout if you've seen my other videos you've seen some Whoop, there he goes
What are we doing here? Get some of this line here. Go guys, looks like another little dolly. I was worried about those tour buses going by. I always gotta make it look like I got a bigger fish on than I do. Oh no, we got a little rainbow. <clears throat> little baby rainbow. Perfect, pop right off. We're looking for those bigger ones though. It's not a big one, but he hit like a truck. Hungry little guy. Dolly. He's a dolly. Ah, oh, I broke my line. Damn. Just put this leader on. Broke it off at like, I don't know, six feet. It was nine feet. <sighs> like I said, guys, I suck at fly fishing. Alright guys, I'm going to show you my arsenal here. It's not a lot in it, because I don't fish with much. Uh, I've been using this. It's called Blowtorch. And uh, the fish love it. A little one. Am I gonna be able to get him? There we go. It'll finally jump for me. Little trout. Barely hooked. And away he goes.
Oh, this is a better fish. Oh, he's running at me. He's running at me. Nice little rainbow. Oh, he's off. Damn. Oh. Yeah. My better fish of the day right there. Decided he didn't want to see me. And just like that, we're back at the truck. Uh, that's not gonna be the end of this video though. Uh, that's just the first part. So a little fishing trip here to Summit to get a few few trout and dollies. And uh, we have a couple options for what's next. So the first option, which I'm hoping for, is gonna be a black bear hunt up in the mountains uh, down here on the Kenai Peninsula. Uh, as you could probably see when I was fishing, there's still a lot of snow. Uh, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it up to where I wanna hunt, but we're going to, uh, Head on down towards Seward from here, and uh, there's a couple trailheads we're gonna we're gonna stop at and check the log books and just see if anybody's written anything about making it, making it up in those passes. Um, if if it looks like it's doable, we're gonna we're gonna go for the bear. Uh, if not, we're gonna head to Seward. And for the past couple weekends, they've been uh, doing really good snagging reds uh, down there in Resurrection. So. Uh, hoping for the bear hunt, but if not, we should have uh, that, that follow-up option there of uh, snagging reds. All right, guys, almost up to the top here. As you can see, there's a lot of snow. Uh, I already see a black bear up there. Uh, He's a ways up there, he's feeding to the right. You're not gonna be able to see him on here. And uh, I don't think I'll be able to get out my big camera or spotting scope in time, but I am seeing bears. I'm gonna get a quick look at this one with the binos. See if it's worth worth going after. Otherwise, I'm gonna head, uh, head further in. All right, that bear is actually a sow and she's got two uh, newborn cubs with her. So definitely not gonna be going after that one, but pretty cool, already seeing bears. I'm almost finished setting up camp. We got the tent set up. I got a pretty good spot here in all these spruces. So if it does rain, it should be pretty well protected. Uh, still working on organizing the rest of my gear. Um, but a lot of this is just gonna stay out back here uh, next to the tent. So I uh, got the mountains right behind me. And these are what I'm gonna be glassing. Looking for bears. I've already seen that one uh, sow and I think two cubs on my way up and that's all I've seen so far but uh, there's a lot of country up here to glass and I got a little bit more stuff to do in camp and then I'm gonna go find a good spot and see if I see anything. Oh there's one. Yep there's one. All right, guys, here's that uh, sow I spotted when I first got up to the hill, and here's those two cubs I mentioned. Uh, I just got camp set up and came out here to take a quick look, and she'd come back out. So i try to zoom in for you guys here. Super cool. All She's the only bear I've seen so far, but I've only been up here a few hours. Might see another bear. Not too far from where that sound cubs are. <clears throat>
I don't think this is that sow, but it's pretty close to to where she was. Hard to tell it's like a female, but it's one of those bushes. Yeah, it's definitely a different bear. I think it's a female. Morning, everyone. Uh, day two here. I'm just getting up, getting going. A little bit later than I wanted to. It's about quarter to five. Um, I was so exhausted yesterday after fishing and getting up here and setting up camp and then glassing that uh, I slept in a little bit longer. Um, I think tomorrow I'll probably get up at 3.30 if, if I don't get anything today, but... Um, still plenty early in the day here. Gonna get a few things loaded in my pack and uh, then we're gonna start glassing. It's 6.30 in the evening, I've been out here all day uh, staring at this mountainside with my binoculars and spotting scope and I have not seen one bear, so my eyes are starting to hurt at this point. Um, back at camp, I'm gonna get my gear cleaned up and I got a uh, mountain house, buffalo style, chicken mac and cheese calling my name. So I'm gonna call it quits for the day. I got the alarm set for uh, 3.30 tomorrow morning and uh, we'll get up and see if we can get on a bear. Good morning everyone. Day three on this outing. Today's June 2nd. Uh, I went to bed last night and it was uh, raining a little bit. Some some storms rolled in throughout the night, so a lot of rain. Uh, I got up this morning at 3.30 like I said I was going to, but it was raining pretty heavy. I took a quick look out the tent at the mountains and they were kind of socked in. So I uh, set the alarm for 4.30 and, and took a look then. Still a little socked in, but started to get up. Um, could look at the, the bottom of the mountains but couldn't really see the tops and uh, everything's kind of cleared up at this point it's about 6 a.m. and uh, we got some fresh snow on the top of these mountains it's Sunday June 2nd and this is all fresh snow from the uh, weather system that moved in overnight rained at the elevation I am but you can see the tops of these mountains it was snow Game plan for the rest of the morning is going to be glass till about 10 ish, and then probably pack up and head out if I haven't seen anything. Um, I'm hoping I can, at, you know, if I don't see any shooters, at least I can get some more footage for you guys. Only seen a couple on the on the first day I got up here, so I was hoping to see a, a bit more. But uh, we're going to give it till 10, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll see something. Found this porcupine up in this tree. And it's about 20 or 30 yards from where my tent is. He was on the ground and then he saw me and climbed up this tree. It 
See you later, Mr. Porcupine. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, unfortunately, I, I just couldn't find a black bear on this mountainside, you know, specifically a boar, uh, to go after. Uh, we saw those two sows. The one had two cubs, so that was pretty cool. Um, but I think there's just a little too much snow up here. I think it's just still a little too early. Maybe another 7 to 10, 7 to 14 days, uh, there'll be more moving around. In past years when I've hunted here, a uh, typical morning I'll see four to six bears easily. Um, sometimes I've seen up to eight bears. So um, I, I really think it's just weather conditions. This was really the only weekend I had that I didn't have something planned. So I figured I'd come down here and, and give this a shot, knowing it was probably going to be a little bit early with, with how much snow we had. But what are you going to do? There's only so many weekends in the summer up here, and uh, you got to make use of all of them. So that's going to be it for today. Next weekend, we're going to be snagging uh, sockeyes down in Seward. So that should be a good video. We did that last year as well. Uh, we're also going to be fishing the opener on the Russian. So lots of salmon videos coming up. We're going to have some trout fishing videos. And then uh, I'm hoping at the end of the month we'll do a cool grayling trip uh, up to a, a place that has some, some real trophy grayling. So lots of videos coming up on fishing. Uh, if you like the Alaskan outdoors and hunting and fishing, uh, subscribe.